Hello and welcome sa ating second video sa Math 22 series. The topic for today is trigonometric integrals. As we call, trigonometric integrals are integrals that composes mainly of trigonometric functions. Examples, the integral of sine to the fourth x times cosine cube x dx. Another example is the integral of secant to the sixth four x dx. Another one is the integral of tangent to the fourth e to the x times the second cube e to the x dx. Tips in solving trigonometric integrals. First is we can manipulate using trigonometric identities. We usually do this by splitting the trigonometric expression into easier or expired version of the integral before we apply trigonometric identities to make it easier to integrate. So for example, we have the second to the fourth x. We can split this equation into second squared x times second squared x. Then, we use trigonometric identities to get second squared x times tangent squared x plus 1. Another example is using sine squared x times cosine cubed x. We split this into sine squared x times cosine squared x times cosine x. Using trigonometric identities, we arrive at sine squared x times 1 minus sine squared x times cosine x. So let's recall trigonometric identities. Trigonometric identities are trigonometric expressions which can be expressed as a collection of other trigonometric expressions. So some basic trigonometric identities are sine of x over cosine x plus tangent x. Another one is cosecant x over secant x equals cotangent x. Another one is 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x. And 1 over cosine x is equal to secant x. Some other identities is this, Pythagorean trigonometric identities. 1 is equal to sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Another one is secant squared x is equal to tangent squared x plus 1. Another one is your second squared x is equal to cotangent squared x plus 1. Uh, we have also have double angle identities. Sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. Cosine 2x is equal to cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Another tip we can use is to integrate using integration techniques. Some of the most common integration techniques are integration by substitution and integration by parts. So let's recall, integration by substitution is an integration technique when one expression is substituted by a variable, usually u, to integrate the integral in an easier way. So an example, we have the integral of cosine 2x dx. So let u be equal to 2x, then du is equal to 2 dx. So we have that the integral of cosine 2x dx is equal to the integral of 1 half cosine u du. Then integrating it, we have 1 half sine u plus c. And now substituting it to x, we have 1 half sine 2x plus c. Now let's recall integration by parts. Let f of x and g of x be differentiable functions. If u is equal to f of x, du is equal to f prime of x dx, db is equal to g prime of x dx, and v is equal to g of x, then by integration by parts, or IBP, we have the following formulas. The integral of u db is equal to uv minus the integral of v du, and the integral from a to b of u dv is equal to u b minus the integral from a to b of b d. So let's try solving some sample problems. Let's first try to evaluate the integral of sine squared 2x times sine 4x dx. So first we have this equation b equal to the integral of sine squared 2x times 2 sine 2x times cosine 2x dx. So how did this happen? So we used double angle identities to sine 4x to get 2 sine 2x times cosine 2x. Now, 
we let u be equal to sine 2x and du be equal to 2 cosine 2x dx. Thus, we have this equation be equal to the integral of u squared times u d. It's just essentially equal to the integral of u cubed du. Now, if we integrate it, we get u to the fourth over 4 plus c. Substituting u, we get sine to the fourth 2x over 4 plus c. So let's try to solve another problem. Let's try to evaluate this integral. For this, we can use the following equation. x is equal to tangent of arctan x. So for solving this, what we're going to do is to substitute the mga x sa ating numerator. So here we have the integral tangent squared of arctan x times the can cube of arctan x over 1 plus x squared dx. So next, ang gagawin natin is we integrate by substitution. So we let u be equal to arctan x, then du be equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. So, ang integrals natin na tangent squared of arctan x times the second cube of arctan x all over 1 plus x squared dx is equal to integral of tangent squared u times second cube u d. So now we use trigonometric identities to arrive at the integral of second cube u minus 1 times the second cube u d. So simplifying this, we get the integral of second the peak u minus second cube u d u. And then we separate this into two terms and we, then we get the integral of second to the peak u d u minus the integral of second cube u d u. Now let's focus muna on the integral of second to the fifth u d u. We can split this into the integral of second cube u times the second cube second squared u d u. So we can use IBP here. So we have u prime be equal to second cube u and dv be equal to second cube u d u. Now we have d u prime be equal to 3 second cube u times tangent u d u and our b be equal to tangent u. Thus, our integral of second cube, second to the fifth u d u is equal to second cube u times tangent u minus the integral of 3 second cube u times tangent u times tangent u. Simplifying, we get second cube u times tangent u minus 3 times the integral of second cube u times tangent square u d u. Maalala nyo, namabag sa itong equation na ito kanina which is ang integral of second cube u tangent square u d u is equal to the integral of second to the fifth u d u minus the integral of second cube u d u. Dahil dito, we can substitute the value of the integral of the second to the fifth u d u above. So upon doing so, we get the following equation. The integral of second cube u times tangent square u d u is equal to second cube u times tangent u minus 3 times the integral of second cube u times tangent square u d u minus the integral of second cube u d u. So upon simplifying this, we get the integral of second cube u times tangent square u d u is equal to second cube u times tangent u minus the integral of second cube u d u all over 4. But wait, di pa ako ito. Kusito. Recall from notes in doing IBP from the previous topic that the integral of second cube u du is actually equal to second q times tangent u plus the ln of the absolute value of second q times tangent u all over 2 plus c. Therefore, ang ating initial equation is equal to second cube u times tangent u minus second q times tangent u plus ln of the absolute value of second u times tangent u over 2 all over 4 plus c. Simplifying this, we get the following equation. x times second cube of arctan x over 4 minus x times second of arctan x over 8 minus the absolute value of x times second of arctan x over 8 plus c. So for our last problem, 
let's try to evaluate the integral of this equation from negative pi to pi. So, medyo complicated yung equation, so we use this following equations. Cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 times sine squared x, which is also equal to 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Now, note that cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x, and cosine 2x is equal to 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Now, we have sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x over 2, and cosine squared x is equal to 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. Moreover, cosine squared x is equal to 2 over 1 minus cosine 2x, and sine squared x is equal to 2 over 1 plus cosine 2x. Furthermore, cosine to the fourth x is equal to 4 over 1 minus cosine 2x squared. And sine to the fourth x is equal to 4 over 1 plus cosine 2x squared. So, using the previous figure and equations, we can substitute this equation into the integral from negative pi to pi of cosecant to the fourth x minus 1 over cosecant squared x times cosecant squared x plus 1 minus secant to the fourth x minus 1 over secant squared x times secant squared x plus 1 dx. So, pwede rin natin i factor yung cosecant to the fourth x minus 1 at yung secant to the fourth x minus 1. For the first one, we have cosecant squared x plus 1 times cosecant squared x minus 1. At sa pangalawa naman, we have secant squared x minus 1 times secant squared x plus 1. With this, pwede natin i-cancel out ito. So we have cosecant squared x minus 1 over cosecant squared x minus secant squared x minus 1 over secant squared x. And gin pag ginamit natin yung trigonometric identities, we have the integral from negative pi to pi of the cotangent squared x over cosecant squared x minus tangent squared x over secant squared x dx. Further simplifying this, we get the integral from negative pi to pi of sine squared x over tangent squared x minus tangent squared x times cosine squared x dx. Cancelling out, we get the integral from negative pi to pi of cosine squared x minus sine squared x dx. Using trigonometric identities, we arrive at the integral from negative pi to pi of cosine 2x dx. Integrating this, we get sine 2x over 2 evaluated from negative pi to pi, which is equal to 1 half times sine 2 pi minus sine negative 2 pi, which is also equal to 1 half times 0 minus 0, which arrives at 0. Thank you for listening and hopefully everyone learned a lot from this lesson which is titled Trigonometric Integrals. See you next time!